I am in Arizona scouting for deer for my January archery hunt. I am so excited. This will be my first time ever scouting and hunting in Arizona. And today is Wednesday. I actually have been here since Sunday and I will be staying until Friday. I have a friend on Instagram and I will not mention her name because I don't want anyone to hit her up for her secret spots, but that is what she did. She actually told me everything I needed to know and she sent me five um, waypoints where deer are, where she has seen deer. So that is amazing. Hunters don't give it to each other, <laughs> you know. So I'm so grateful for her and I have checked it out and that is true. There are deer here, so this is a good spot. So let's see what I have done so far. I got here Sunday early afternoon and that was just enough time for me to get everything settled in and then go for a little hike for a few hours and just discover the area kind of close to where one of the first two um, spots are. And I was kind of surprised how the landscape is so different. For one, there are these juniper trees and that's basically 80% of the vegetation. I mean, there are some pine trees and other things, but the juniper trees are very dominant in this area. And it's either forests like that, or you have these fields of yellow grass with some with some brushes and a lot of rocks big rocks small rocks you actually have to really watch your step because you could easily break your leg the, the ground is so uneven it's uh, i had to get used to that and then the other thing that was so surprising is that the ground is covered with deer poop and elk poop and then you see these piles and piles of poop everywhere. Sometimes I take five steps and then they're right there. So that was so exciting to see. So that was Sunday. And then on Monday, I drove out to a couple of areas and I basically spent the whole day hiking around. And the one thing that was a little bit discouraging was the rocks on the ground. It's actually good and bad. The, the good part is that you can walk so quietly. Nobody will hear you. You have these big rocks and smaller ones and you're just walking on them super quiet, but you don't also see any footprints. So you don't see any presence of any animals on the, unless they poop there. But for like, I don't know, half an hour, you could be walking and you don't know. Where you see trees right under them is just the dirt. And then you could see all these footprints and you could see how they bedded down under it. But that's about it. And most areas were covered in rocks. But I still saw all those piles of elk poop <laughs> and everything. So I said, okay, I'm gonna have to come back first thing in the morning or right at sunset, maybe I'll have better luck. first two spots and first thing I jumped the doe so that was actually already exciting because um, I've learned that if you see does here that's a good thing because these deer are not migratory deer they're basically residential they live here they're they're here the whole time and if you don't see any bucks yet, that's okay. When the rut starts in December or January, they will move in to where the does are. So as long as I find does, I'm good. So just that one was already a good sign. And then I just kept hiking around and that area, no rocks, not so much. And oh my gosh, I saw highways and highways and highways of deer trail or elk trail. But the funny thing was, the interesting part was that I climbed up. It's like a little canyon. You climb down and climb up and everything. And then you have, and then you have this, um, you know, this field area. And I said, okay, well, let's go back before dark. I don't want to get caught in here in the dark. And my truck wasn't even too far. So I'm walking. And then I look back with my binoculars and I see five deer. Um, I try to take a video, but it's really hard. I put it in front of my binoculars. It's not the same. I could see them so clearly. They were huge. 
and they just popped up all five of them in one spot and i kept looking at them for like a half an hour and then they kind of wandered off eating i saw at least two of them for sure were just does i assume they all were um it's fine it's it's perfect i was so happy so that really got me you know psyched up about everything and the funny thing was i was walking those areas and i was looking and looking and those deer must have been bedded down somewhere i didn't see them and as soon as i left they just hobbed up so that was really cool This morning I woke up super early, went out there just to glass the same area at sunrise and I didn't see anything, which is fine. Um, I, was, I was glassing some other areas and then I, I checked out another spot down in Unit 8. This is in Unit 10, but the interesting thing was the landscape was totally different. It was like what we have in California, not so much juniper trees, just the regular pine trees and everything, but um, I think I'm going to probably just focus on these areas so right now i'm about to hop in my truck and i think i'm gonna go back to the same area where i saw those deer and spend a few hours there it's around it's about noon right now so i don't know if i'm gonna stay there all day until sunset or i'm gonna go check out the other areas but i'm definitely going back there again at sunset to see what's going on so these are the plans so far having a lot of fun it the weather is nice it's a little bit chilly obviously it's November um, but it's not too bad it's sunny during the day so it's it makes it a little bit warmer nighttime it's um, super cold I'm in a fifth wheel but the heater doesn't work <laughs> so I'm using my little heater buddy and yes I crack a window every night and everything so I need a lot of propane tanks to use that but um, so far I'm loving it and it's just me and the dog and she is a really good dog however I can't take her hunting I mean I wasn't going to anyways but if she sees an animal she instinctively wants to chase them so mm -mm. she will come with me in January but she's going to stay at the campsite This morning, I went out to that same spot. Um, I just woke up, made my coffee, hopped in my truck in my pajamas <laughs> so that I could be out there uh, before sunrise and I saw two does. So I know it's not a big deal, but like I said before, as long as they're there, that means the bucks will probably be there when the rut starts.
I now have climbed through this area so many times. I know everything about it. It's basically a dried up creek on the bottom with all these rocks and you have to climb down and then climb up on the other side. And in a lot of places, it's just very steep, um, you know, rock faces where you can't really climb, but there's always an opening and I have marked those on my app on my phone so i know some easy ways to climb down and then there you have some treed areas where it just kind of feels like you're walking in a park and where it's not so many rocks it's more like just the dirt you could actually see all the heavy foot traffic and then you climb up on the other side and it's flat over there again and then there are some more trees follow later so that's where the the deer are popping up so this is a really awesome area. I don't know if there will be water here when I come back. That would be really nice. It would make it hard for me to, you know, go through the area. I would have to go around, but that doesn't matter. That would just mean that there is water for the deer. So this is a place that is my favorite so far out of all the others. And this is where I will be coming back. Nope, not there. I don't know why. <laughs> cooking a turkey leg for Thanksgiving. I got this turkey in the spring and I just defrosted it and brought it with me. So I'm having some wild turkey <laughs> for Thanksgiving and it's only 2.30 right now. So I think I'm just in time. And then tonight, well not tonight, but before sunset, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna try to walk up to the edge of that canyon as much as I can. I saw from the other side what the deer would see. And as long as I'm staying behind some trees and bushes, they're not gonna see me. And I can also hide the truck behind one of those trees and then they're not gonna see it. I'm sure they kind of pick up on everything. So hopefully I can walk a little closer and catch them at sunset and then come home, come home, <laughs> come back to this trailer. It feels like home. I've been here for, Oh gosh, I left Saturday, it's now Thursday. So I'm going to pack up mostly everything tonight. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did today. Wake up, go out there. I honestly don't know if I'm doing anything right or wrong. I've glassed and glassed and drove around and hiked around. I did all these in the past four and a half days and I came upon this area that seemed the most promising and I'm focusing on that and I always second guess myself and I never know if I should do it differently, if I should still focus on other areas or I should just focus on this one and you could ask five hunters and they will tell you like six different things. So I don't know, but um, I saw deer there twice I know they were just just does. I wish they were bucks, but I was told that the bucks will be here if the does are here when the rut starts. Luckily in Arizona, you have rut hunting. Um, in California, we don't. So this will be the first time I'm actually doing rut hunting and I don't know what to expect. I don't think it's gonna be too easy, but maybe it won't be as hard as it is in California. So I don't know. These are my thoughts. If you have any advice for me, you know I'm always all ears. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, um, what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. That's also good to hear sometimes. Not always just criticism, but I'm not trying to get you to, you know, boost my ego, but just, you know, encourage me. Let me know if I'm doing it right <laughs> or what I should expect height will be in this area. After dinner, I went back out there just to look. I sat in my truck and on this side of the creek, two deer popped up. They were so close. They were maybe 150 yards or something like that. And I was just looking at them and just kept looking. And one is a spike. That is a spike. That is a shooter buck in Arizona. So I'm super happy. Last night it snowed and it's a lot colder right now. 
Yesterday, I actually put out a trail cam into the same spot where the deer were. I finally found that good area with a lot of foot traffic. And I'm going home today. I want to check it, but I don't know if it's going to work because my phones are almost dead and they don't really want to charge. And I need to be able to see what's on the trail cam. I have an adapter that I plug into my phone and I need my phone to stay alive <laughs> until I make it there. So I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to try anyways. I'm kind of disappointed because I have to leave my trail cam without seeing what's on it. I was going to leave it anyways, but I at least wanted to see it, but it's okay. I mean, I saw a spike yesterday. I saw a total of seven does. Some of it might have been the same ones, but um, I'm excited. I know there are deer here. There's at least one spike. I'm sure there are more bucks. If not, there will be. Um, so I'm just going back up there, going back to the trailer, pack it up and trying to go. Um, luckily, the roads are not bad. I mean, it snowed, but someone already drove on them and the roads are pretty hard, you know, like frozen, but not icy. So I don't see any trouble pulling this trailer. We are on our way home. Actually, we're about halfway through, so we're going to get home tonight, maybe not even that late. But um, this is basically it. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't really show you any big bucks. That would have been really exciting to see. But overall, I'm still happy and excited because I did what I came here to do, and that was to locate deer. I did see one deer that if he's still there, he could be mine. Um, it is hunting season here right now. There are a bunch of people um, camping out there, and I assume they're all hunting. It's rifle season, but, but that's okay. I'll be back in two months, six weeks. This is the end of this scouting trip. Um, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I know I didn't really offer a whole lot, but I just kind of wanted to document this. If anything, for myself to look back later, you know, and maybe by then I learned some more what I did wrong, what I did right, but also as a form of asking advice, you know, tell me what you think, definitely leave me a comment. Um, give me some constructive criticism. If I'm completely messing up everything, then just, you know, be nice and go easy. But anyways, um, I will see you guys next time. I will have many, many things coming up this month and next month, even though it's winter and it's usually, you know, there's nothing to do. There are so many things going on. So I'm pretty excited. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Misha. Hi, baby. <laughs>